Hi everybody, it's Jody here and welcome back to my channel or hello for the very first time. I had a really good time the other day when I filmed my review of the Natasha Denona face products and applied some makeup for y'all. So I decided maybe today I would try my hand at a get ready with me. This is the not the first time I've done it, but it's the first time I have attempted this in a very, very long time. My camera died, so what you guys missed out on was me just applying a uh, primer. I used the Stila One Step Correct. And this is a newer foundation to me. I've only owned it for a few weeks. This is a Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I think this stuff is just really, really cool. I actually really sort of love the big doe foot applicator on it. So we're gonna go in with that, but first, before I put on my foundation, I do like to do a bit of color correcting under my eyes, so I am going to use the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I love this stuff, I just apply it with my fingers. As you guys can see, this is very well loved and well used. So I apologize if my mirror gets in the way. This is like one of the first times I've ever done this. Need a little bit more, need a little bit more. If you guys can hear a really weird like humming sound in the background, please just kind of somewhat ignore it. It is hot as hell where I live today. It's, if you guys are in Canadian, it, Canadian, if you guys are in Canadian, if you guys know Celsius at all, because I don't know Fahrenheit, y'all, sorry. Um, it's 32 degrees where I live. It's, it's nuts, crazy hot. It's crazy stupid hot. Now we are gonna put some of the foundation on. So I generally, We'll put a couple stripes up top, blend it in, and then apply stripes on my way down. So <laughs> I'm using that new pure oval brush that I got. I'm a little addicted to this, guys. I love how it applies. I love how it spreads everything out. And it takes like no time. Naked skin. Urban Decay Naked Skin. Love this concealer. Love this concealer. Okay, so I wanna to talk to you guys about uh, makeup trends that you're just not on board with. Like, is there any makeup trends out there that you guys are like, no, no, I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't want to be a part of it. Like, is there is there anything like that that you guys have found? Um, there's stuff that happens right now that I, I just don't get. One of the things is, is the harsh line contouring. Like, I just find, and, and it could be a me personally kind of thing, I just find that on these beautiful young women, beautiful young women, and then they do this super crazy harsh contour line, and I'm just like, girl, I can see it. It looks like a big old stack of mud on your face. What are you doing? Like, and I have, I'll be honest, I have harshly contoured my face before. I am not innocent, done it in air, but I have never purposely wanted to have like that crazy freaking line. Like, I just don't understand it. Oh, the little brush that I'm using, I absolutely love this thing for concealer, is a Morphe G38. And then we're gonna set the under eyes. I'm going to use the Lunatic Labs Mystifying Mattifying. Um, I find this color concealer is, is pretty much light enough that I don't need too much additional brightening under there, so I just wanna kinda set my concealer. This is really hard to do out of little tiny mirrors all over. I gotta pick up a good mirror that I can use regularly. <laughs> Before I actually set my face with powder, I'm gonna go in with this. This is a ride or die. I am in love with it. This is the DCM Hylamide Matte 12. I did a full review on this. I will leave it linked down below because this is, this is quite frankly, one of the greatest freaking inventions for those of us who get oily that I've ever come across. And I think, People need to stand up and pay attention, quite frankly. You guys need to pay attention to it. If you are an oily girl, it doesn't take a lot. Like, um, the first time when I tried it for my review, when I was putting it on my face and doing kind of an all day review, it, I, it wasn't my very first time using it, but I had gone a little heavy. A little heavy, I didn't need quite so much. So just, just that, a little squirt, squeeze it all over your face, call it good. Then we're gonna set the face with uh, Cap on E! <laughs> Cap on e. What do they call this now? Setting powder in translucent. Pat off the excess, and then I'm just gonna push it into the skin, especially in those oily areas. That's what I tend to do. Um, I have found, I've worn this foundation twice now, and I do find that it does need set a little bit, just to 
So I'll put the majority of my foundation in the areas that I get oily and then I just take it out a little bit. Take it out a little bit. And now most of the time because I do tend to go heavy handed I will get a big fluffy brush and just be sure to a big clean very clean fluffy brush and just try to brush off the excess anything that doesn't really need to be there and through the magic of editing <laughs> I now magically have some brows on now I am going to contour I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs zero four mirage filter I use this stinker non-stop for a long time it is a repurchase for me I just I don't know there's something about this contour color my friends Oh, and if you're wondering what brush I'm using, this is the Wayne Goss airbrush, I think it's called. It doesn't have a name on it, it just says Wayne Goss, but I think it was called the airbrush or the one. I think it might be the one. I don't know, they had a name competition and I wanted to call it the airbrush, and now I just call it that. Little bit of contour, little bit of contour. Okay. And the nice thing that I love about this brush is you can get right in there and you can just blend the shit out of it. And it doesn't hurt the brush, it's made for it, it loves it, it's a happy little camper getting slightly beat up. So just a little bit of contour there. <clears throat> blend it out, blend it out, blend it out, blend it out. Okay. So a little bit of contour there, nothing crazy, just, you know, just, just a little bit. And then I'm going to use my Benefit, I think this is called the Hula Bronzer Brush. I don't know. I bought it last summer. It is my favorite bronzing brush. I, I use it all the time. I love it. And here's something that is very, very stinking new to me. This is one of the new Becca Sunlit Bronzers. Look at this packaging, guys. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. And I got Capri Coast. It's not their lightest shade, but it's it's right down there. Um, this is a shimmery bronzer. I've only I've only used it once. Yeah, once. Um, but I really wanted to give it a go because I don't generally usually like shimmery bronzers. However, Becca Cosmetics has a habit of of, of most of their highlighters and things have a way of making it be that sort of natural lit within glow so I figured I wouldn't mind it quite as much as the shimmery bronzer and quite frankly I don't I I love this thing I know it's weird I, I like to take bronzer a little bit across the tip of not the tip the bridge of my nose whatever's just kind of left on the brush because I find me naturally in the summertime I always get kind of a darker area there so to keep things looking natural that's what I do I really like the finish on this bronzer I just haven't used it enough to give you guys a definitive answer. This is the Ciate London. Looks like this. It's called Date Night. It used to have a prettier marbled effect, but I've swatched it a couple times. This, however, my friends, will be the first time I ever wear it on my face, so I'm going to go in with a uh, Morphe E3. Uh, lots of people will go, oh, Morphe, Morphe, you use so much Morphe. I do, a sh I do use a shit ton of Morphe products. The reason being is... Everything I bought from them I've been happy with and I had a major haul of all kinds of brushes and styles of brushes that I didn't have in my collection that I bought during IMATS last year. I am starting to branch out to other brands however and, and, and the thing is with it I'm not an affiliate. I have nothing. I have never used an affiliate code while purchasing Morphe products. I just have to tell you that Generally, I just really like how they perform. Um, other people have other opinions, but that's the nice thing about there being so many different brands of like brushes and stuff out there, is there's a little bit of something for everybody. But I haven't, I've never been disappointed with Morphe. Um, I really like their price range, it's perfect for me. It doesn't break the bank, and the quality that it get is pretty good. Okay, so this blush, I don't know guys, it almost looks more like a really pink highlighter. What do you guys think? Like, I mean, there's very little here, but I am, I am shining. I don't even know if I need to put on highlighter, but we're going to. Why did not bring an eyeshadow primer with me up here? So we are going to use, what do we want to do? I'm going to use just a little bit of concealer. I'm just going to put a smidgen on my finger. 
and hope I can do this. Hope this works. I always use an eyeshadow primer, so this for me is very scary. Oh, this is gonna be okay. This is gonna be just fine. This will be all right. I have super, super pigmented lids, so actually <laughs> using the concealer on there is not entirely a terrible idea. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the Kava Nishi Light Palette in Rust. I have used this a few times, it hardly looks touched. <laughs> I've used this a far few times, but not near as much as I should have. I'm gonna go in with my Luxie 205. This is one of my favorite brushes. And I'm just gonna take this pinky shade. So I'm just gonna got, kinda go all over. I'm just gonna kinda dust this all around the eye. This is gonna help me set my concealer and create a nice base for the rest of my shadows. Hopefully that's the hope. So as you guys can see, I've got slightly hooded eyes. So it just sets it, gives it a nice pinky hue. Oh, oh, it's always weird with the pinkies. <laughs> kind of my transition shades and my pinks quite a ways up on my face. And it's, it's a very simple reason for that is because it allows when my eyes are open for the color to be seen more if I bring it up a little bit. Here, I got a MAC 2, a 17. I'm gonna go into this really pretty rust kind of color here. Okay, and this sucker, I'm gonna start down in the corner, and I'm gonna bring it up and all the way across, but I am going to do my crease a little higher than where my actual crease is. And I'm gonna try and take it right down into this inner corner. I'm gonna try and do a bit of a halo eye today, something I really enjoy doing. I don't care if this gets a little bit messy, so I have a very small lid, so generally when I'm doing any kind of crease work, it's going to get down below. So there we are so far. Very, very orangey. A Morphe B83 looks like this. And I am going to take this dark brown color. Here's where we start to get nervous, folks. Here's where the nerves kick in. <laughs> and I am going to take that just, just super, super lightly and create kind of a V in my outer corner. Jeez, I thought this brown, in my, in my memory, this brown was darker. I haven't used this palette in months. In months. Okay, that's turning out not too terrible. Try to keep it to this outer V. Rub it in in my actual eye socket crease a little bit. I need a little bit more. Don't worry, we're gonna blend this out. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna take this really stinking dark corner color right into this inner corner. Right into this inner corner and up into the socket itself. Oh, okay, sorry. Right up into this inner corner and drag that into the socket itself. Okay, so we're creating a little bit, you guys can see where it's a little bit lighter in the middle. So now that I've got those darker corners, I am gonna take whatever access that I have on my MAC 217 of that orange color that I took. And I'm gonna close my eye a little bit and just try to blend the brown I put into the orange without diffusing the orange. A dot taking my brush up, keeping it really, really tight in there. Okay, so there we have it so far. So far, so good. Oh, this is MAC Mariah Carey packing brush. And I'm gonna take this lightest shade on the end which they just call highlight. And we're gonna pack this, tap it off a little bit. And I'm gonna pack this right into the center of the eye. What is this? This is a little Morphe M49 itty bitty guy. I'm gonna take a little bit of that highlight brightening color. A little brightness back to the party. We have some problems. All right, Matt, I'm gonna use the Clinique. Flutter, lash, flutter, flutter, lash. I don't know what the hell this is called. <laughs> Mascara, and I'm gonna do one of the worst things that they say you never should do. I tilt my head back. Put that on. Be careful not to touch my upper lid. This is a tubing mascara, so it's a little bit easier to work with sometimes. <sighs> okay, left eye. Left eye is the like the high stress situation. 
watch other YouTubers put on their mascara and I'm just like, how do you do that so quickly? And not get it all over your face. On top of that, I'm using a mirror. <laughs> Itsy bitsy little tiny mirror that I'm not used to. Okay, now that those feel a little bit dry, I'm just gonna put a little in my lower lashes. Now, because of my hooded eyes, I can't do that with most mascaras. I have to wait a little while until I know it's solidly dry. But because this is a tubing mascara, it's a little less dramatic. So there's my eye look. Hope you guys like it. Okay, and we are zoomed back out. I gotta tell you guys, this blush is not, not doing it for me. It just looks like a bunch of wet shine on my face. And now we are on to highlighter. <laughs> This is most people's probably favorite part. Actually, I usually, I'm gonna be honest with you, I usually put my lipstick on before my highlighter because I like to highlight my upper lip. Today I decided to go with the Makeup Forever Artist Rouge in the color M101. I haven't worn this in a long time but since there were so many brownish tones in this look. I figured I could probably get away with it. It is ridiculously neutral and natural looking. It's just very brown tone. But it's a nice easy one to slap on without any mistakes. So we got the lipstick on. So we are gonna go in with highlighter on the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. I've watched some videos and figured out it's not Rodeo Drive, it's Rodeo Drive. This is my favorite brush to highlight with of all time. This is the Morphe M501. I have murdered a couple of these. I have replaced it. This is a ride or die. Now this, you go in, look at how much is on this brush. Like this is, these are all very, very freshly cleaned brushes. So here we go, folks. This is serious highlight. Just so you guys know, I usually take it up a little bit. My cheeks are so beyond glowy because of that blood. Like, look at that. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's too much. Is that too much? What do you guys think? Is that too much? That's some serious glow. Okay. And now I will take a little bit down the bridge of my nose, but never on the tip. Now I'm gonna say that out of all the things that happen with makeup beauty gurus and online and Instagram that I can't stand the most, it's that big freaking glowing dot of all that highlighter on the end of the nose. It looks to me, it always reminds me of, you know those pictures of a kid who sticks their face in their ice cream and they come up with that perfect little circle? That's what it reminds me of. I think it's the most ridiculous looking thing on the planet. But I seem to be the only person on the planet that doesn't think it's wonderful. So, you know, maybe it's just me. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about the highlighter nose. So I will take some down the bridge of my nose, but I always stop before I get to the point. And then uh, highlight the lips. Ooh, give the lips a little bit of highlight. Now, here's where the fun part is. I'm gonna take just a fluffy little brush. What have I got here? This is the Royal and Lane Nickel Eyeshadow Shader BMD 466. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this highlight and it is going right up in the arch of this eye. Oh my God, that's serious. <laughs> that's fun. Oh. There's some serious sheen happening. Whoa, that is some serious freaking highlight, man. <laughs> I love it. All right, and last thing that I do that this is gonna drive everybody nuts and I'm going to highly, highly recommend that you don't do it this way. Um, my eyelashes have a lot of natural curl in them. I find if I pre-curl them before I put the mascara on with my hooded, slightly hooded, deep set eyes, all I do is get mascara everywhere. So I have to wait for them to completely dry. Don't even think about doing this even a little bit if they're slightly damp at all. But once they are completely, completely dry, that's when I curl my lashes. So I know it's horrible. I don't recommend it for most people, but it seems to be what has decided to be the saving grace of my eyeshadow. <laughs> Forever and always. There we go.
There we go. See? Blink, 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 blink. Ha ha. All right, everybody. Well, that's it for this video. My first ever, well, not my first ever, but I'm going to call it my first ever get ready with me video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, any tips or tricks of things that you guys would like me to do during the get ready with me process that would make you enjoy it more, this is my first time, so this is a total learning experience for me. Please let me know any of your constructive criticism in the comment section down below. I want to learn and make my channel better, so anything that you guys, tips or tricks, or anything that you guys would like to see different would be greatly appreciated and super helpful. And other than that, guys, you know the drillio. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And as always, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I will see you all next time.